All right, guys, so here we are with node number five. Let's talk the game plan. We have two options for this node, and it's gonna depend on your roster. Option number one, which I think is gonna be the vast majority of the community, is use your hero as guardians. There is a strategy that I can't uh, employ here because of my roster being too big, but I'm gonna talk you guys through it. So what we'll do is we're gonna burn Omega Red Special and Ultimate, and then we'll head back in where the hero has guardians to clean up after that. Option number two is Ravagers. They're kind of a cheat code to this Scourge. They can absolutely one-shot Node 5 on very high Scourges, and then they can prep Node 10 for your Heroes Guardians to come in for an easy cleanup. I'm going to show both methods here, though I do think the Heroes Guardian one is more beneficial for people. And if you have to decide on one team, guys, go Heroes Guardians. They're more durable to do both nodes. Uh, Ravagers kind of just do this first one very, very well, and they fall apart on the second one. So for the Scourge, make sure you have some Strikers on your Hero as Guardian team. Recommendations from me are Mighty Thor and Valkyrie. But let's talk about the burn that I was uh, alluding to earlier. If you have a very weak Black Widow, a very weak Captain America, or if you just don't have Ravagers built whatsoever, what you can do is throw them in as a single character. Omega Red will use his special on it and it'll die. Then you do it again. Omega Red will use his ultimate on it and it'll die. And then you can come in with your hero as guardians and you just negated one of the methods of control that they uh, throw at you right off the bat, which we'll talk about in a second. Let's talk about it right now, actually. Yeah. There's a lot of media control thrown at you. It is best to reset until that control lands on Sif and Heimdall, especially if your Valkyrie and your mighty Thor are your strikers. You see here, Valkyrie does have the stun and we're not going to be able to get to the Omega Red in time. She's my striker, and I really rely on her to use those vulnerables and get through the death proofs that are being applied to all the enemy characters because of the scourges that I have on. And there you go, there's the death nail for this attempt. And I did want to show some failed attempts just to show you what it's like if you don't do the burner attack. If you do do the burner attack, it's a lot easier and you can kind of focus on uh, Doctor Strange Heartless and Wong as opposed to Omega Red right off the bat. But now let's go ahead and do a actual kill attempt. Right where you're gonna notice, basically everything goes at Sif. There's the ability block on Sif, there's the term meter rewind on Sif, and there's the stun on Mighty Thor. That's unfortunate, but we also have Valkyrie as a striker and we should be able to make it work. Notice that the Negasonics on this node are very squishy. Like other characters, like the Hulk on the previous node, node four, or the She-Hulk on node two, they just kinda of take one hit and then they're gone. But what they do to you if you don't take them out is very dangerous. So those Negasonics do do a heal block for two turns. That'll neuter your hero as the Guardian's passives. So make sure you take care of them. Thor is the heart and soul of this team. His passive will carry you through this Scourge event as far as nodes 5 and 10 go. So make sure it has the T4. And if you have some extra levels you can throw on Thor, definitely do that. As far as gold promotion, uh, that's a little sketchy, but he is basically all of your damage here. You see his passive is just doing all the lifting. And that remains true on node 10 as well. And I did have a kill order thrown out there, but you see Wong is still alive. And uh, a lot of people who were supposed to die before him just didn't. And that's just, you know, because of Thor's passive. You don't control it. It's incredible. So you don't have much say in who's gonna die when. But as far as your strikers go, make sure you're attacking vulnerable targets who have that death proof to make it go faster. And if your Asgard is your only team, you don't have Ravagers built up at all, make sure you're exiting this node with at least 50% life. We do have an interesting burn option for node 10 if you only have, say, Hawkeye and T'Challa built. Uh, there's some shenanigans we can get up to, and I'll showcase that in node 10. But you do want to leave this one pretty healthy, though cooldowns don't matter much, because again, it's all Thor passive. And now let's look at the Ravagers, kind of the cheat code. I know a very small portion of the population will have this built, uh, so 
if you don't have a ability, you don't want to watch this, I completely understand. But I figure I'd showcase it for those who do. So right away, we need to steal the energy from Omega Red, and then we're going to turn our attention to Wong. If you're not running the Scourge that removes the blind from Omega Red and gives him a bunch of healing, then what you could do is use this Yondu's first attack to finish off that Omega Red. Otherwise, start pouring damage in on the Wong. He gets defense down here from Bruiser. You got to use that basic. And then Stitcher completely takes out the Wong. You never have to get stuck behind that taunt. The nice part about Starlight T'Challa here is when he's getting the speed bar from enemies dying, he's also cleansing at least one debuff. And also make sure when you're doing your boomers attacks, attack uh, the center of the cluster so it's turn meter rewinding as much people as possible. And yes, Omega Red cannot be allowed to ult here or you're just going to die. So just for the record, my T'Challa is... 6 red star, Mayandu 7, but you see Mayandu hasn't done much of anything yet. Uh, T'Challa is the, the beefcake on this team. As you see, he just launched that Silver Samurai off the map. Now here, in retrospect, I should have held onto this ult and used it for node 10. Uh, as soon as Silver Samurai is down, you can start conserving your cooldowns. If you're able to uh, imitate this, then there's a very, very strong burn attack that you're going to be able to do on node 10. That's going to carry you to an easy, easy victory even at high, high scourges. As far as characters that we want to keep healthy when we leave, we definitely want to keep our uh, T'Challa healthy, our Stitcher healthy, our Boomer. We want to make sure his special is up uh, on spawn for the next attack. If we can do the same with Yondu special, that's great, but if not, that's okay. So as you can see, Ravager Bruiser, he's the only character you want soaking up as much damage as possible. We're not going to use him in node 10 for a burner attack. Though if you need to use Ravagers for the full thing, uh, make sure he is healthy. Because you will need him then. And that's not my eyes anymore. Sorry, that was a Twitch recording. Let me go ahead and pop up. Show you the real me. Hey, what's up guys? So yeah, I, I got super sick. So I'm sorry I didn't get as many videos out as I had planned to today. I'm going to skip the villain section tomorrow. We're going to go right to skill, because that is, in my opinion, the hardest section, especially if you have a Ravager's built, and then we'll do no 10, and I'll double back for the villain section if uh, you guys have an appetite for that. But if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.